everybody, Mike Dovis, go back with you here for another bass fishing tip. And uh, you know, I thought I'd do something just totally different today uh, and talk to you guys about a really cool bait that you may not even think um, that would be appropriate to, to fish unless you had ice on the lake. And uh, you know, this time of year, things are starting to cool down here quite a bit. Um, even where I live down south, our water is starting to cool down. Of course, we never freeze up, but a lot of you guys up north uh, are going to be dealing with um, with ice pretty soon. And uh, typically, when that happens, you get out your ice fishing shelters, and you know you get out there and drill some holes in the ice and, and catch fish. And you usually do it with uh, something that looks just about like that: uh, Rapala's jigging shad wrap, or Rapala's jigging wrap. I'm sure all of you guys who have ever ice fished have thrown one of these things down and uh, and caught yellow perch and smallmouth and walleye and all kinds of other um, fish. Virtually everything will eat this thing. But I tell you what, I fish it out in the open when there's no ice at all. Uh, of course, like I said, it doesn't freeze up where I live, but it still does get pretty cold and those fish will bunch up in uh, some of those deep pockets out off of points, scattered around bait fish, cover, things like that. And uh, it's a really, really cool technique to be able to throw one of these on a bait casting rod and reel and, uh, and catch a bunch of fish on it. It's something that not a lot of guys do and not a lot of guys have probably thought to do. Um, sure, many of you probably fish a Silver Buddy, um, a Jig and Spoon, a Hopkins, um, one of the big giant uh, lake fork spoons, uh, maybe a little George, things like that, but just because that little deal right there was primarily meant for the ice fisherman doesn't mean you can't string it up on a bait casting rod and reel and go throw it around, because I tell you what, it catches a ton of fish. Um, the cool thing about these two series of baits um, is that there's a variety of sizes and weights, so I can um, you know, kind of match the the weight that I need for the depth of the water that I'm in and also be able to match the profile and size of the bait fish. Uh, these, both of these two baits have a really, really realistic, very subtle movement under the water. And when it gets really, really cold, <coughs> when it gets really cold, the bait fish don't move real fast. They kind of just glide along, um, real kind of peaceful like. and both of these baits will do exactly that. There's a little tail on the back of both of these baits that when it's falling down it's going to make this bait kind of just glide through the surface, uh, glide through the water. And when you jerk it up and down it's going to make the bait pop and it's going to glide again. So you can really impart a lot of uh, really really attractive action with both of those baits just by popping your rod tip um, letting it just simply fall down through the water column. And I try to let the, the size of the bait, um, you know, in my, my presentation and, and which one I'm going to pick, um, all goes according to how deep the water is. So if I'm fishing really, really deep water, say 25 foot, 30 foot, 40 foot, I may opt for a, uh, a half ounce version or even the, the three quarter ounce version. And if I'm somewhat shallower or the, the bait fish are a little bit smaller like they typically get um, in the winter months too, I may go with this little bitty um, jig and shad wrap that really matches the profile of the bait. This is a, a 5 16 ounce model and it's about 2 inches long. So any one you pick will get the job done you know, throughout the day. Just you know, remember to pick a bait that matches the conditions that you're fishing and the size of the bait fish that the bass are targeting. Um, as far as rod and reel, I kind of, it really depends on which one I'm going to throw, but most of the time I like a six foot medium action rod with either 10, 12, or 14 pound test fluorocarbon suffix line. And with the smaller models, like this little 5 16 ounce um, jig and shad wrap, I may go to a 10 um, pound test or even a 12 pound test. And for the half ounce model, um, I'm going to go up to maybe a 12 or a 14. And for the three quarter ounce, I'm going to fish 14 pound test. 
and really let the line size dictate um, you know what size bait that I'm going to throw and kind of match everything up you know accordingly. The, um, the, the cool thing about this type of bait or fishing this type of bait is that you really don't need to do a whole bunch to it. Um, simply throw it out and, and the thing I like is it weighs a whole lot so you can throw it a good long way and then immediately engage your reel and kind of let the bait just kind of glide through the water column. I may give it a count of four to five and then you know pop my rod tip a little bit and kind of impart a little bit of action in it, let it fall a little bit more, give it another count to four or five, pop it a little bit more and continue that until it hits the bottom and then what I might do is, is kind of pump my rod tip and let it uh, dart up, glide back, dart up, glide back um, and that sort of thing until it gets back to the boat but a lot of times what's going to happen is that they're going to bite this in the water column or um, when it's on its initial fall and the thing I'll tell you despite having little bitty hooks both of these baits have um, a little front hook, a little rear hook and then a little tiny treble uh, right there in the middle a lot of times you'll hook a fish right there on that front hook and as you're fighting the fish this bait will swing around and, and this bottom treble will catch them underneath the jaw or on the side too so you'll actually have an opportunity to get into the hook in the fish as you're fighting them back. Uh, you'd be surprised how few fish you actually lose on that bait despite having little bitty hooks. So a couple of really cool baits. Get out there and uh, find some and, and Get out and go fishing, uh, hopefully the next couple of weeks here before it gets really, really cold. Um, we probably got about another, well, maybe another month worth of good fishing. Uh, I know it's already snowing in some places, so you guys might be dealing with, with bad weather. But down here down south, they're still biting. They're starting to get into their late fall kind of winter thing. Um, you can catch fish with this thing right until it freezes up and then when it does freeze up you can get out there in the ice and, and catch some more so uh, I'm Mike Del Visco I'll see you next time and uh, good fishing and good luck if you're a hardcore bass pro or just a weekend warrior call us or log in to get the latest products our entire staff is made up of fanatical bass anglers we have one of the largest inventories in the nation so when you absolutely gotta have it, shop Bass Tackle Depot, where the pros shop. 1-800-591-7171 or BassTackleDepot.com 24 hours a day.